There is but one thing in the world that gives a man real and enduring power, and that is character. Reputation, bear in mind, is not character. Reputation is that which people are believed to be. Character is that which people are. If you would be a person of great influence, then be a person of real character. Character is the philosopher's lodestone through which all who have it may turn the base metals of their life into pure gold. Without character you have nothing, you are nothing, and you can be nothing, except a pile of flesh and bone and hair worth perhaps twenty-five dollars. Character is something that you cannot beg or steal or buy. You can get it only by building it, and you can build it by your own thoughts and deeds, and in no other way. Through the aid of auto-suggestion, any person can build a sound character, no matter what his past has been. As a fitting close for this lesson, I wish to emphasize the fact that all who have character have enthusiasm and personality sufficient to draw to them others who have character. You will now be instructed as to how you shall proceed in developing enthusiasm in the event that you do not already possess this rare quality. The instructions will be simple but you will be unfortunate if you discount their value on that account. First, complete the remaining lessons of this course because other important instructions which are to be coordinated with this one will be found in subsequent lessons. Second, if you have not already done so, write out your definite chief aim in clear, simple language and follow this by writing out the plan through which you intend to transform your aim into reality. Third, Read over the description of your definite chief aim each night, just before retiring, and as you read, see yourself and your imagination in full possession of the object of your aim. Do this with full faith in your ability to transform your definite chief aim into reality. Read aloud with all the enthusiasm at your command, emphasizing every word. Repeat this reading until the small, still voice within you tells you that your purpose will be realized. Sometimes you will feel the effects of this voice from within the first time you read your definite chief aim, while at other times you may have to read it a dozen or fifty times before the assurance comes, but do not stop until you feel it.